Take two. Um, tell me how you found out that you were going into the Hall of Fame and, and what emotions you had when you when you opened the box. Well, I'll tell you, I uh, it, I was out of town, so I didn't get an email or anything like that or a phone call. So it was uh, I was on vacation. My wife and I, you know, or a couple of our friends went down to Jamaica. So we were in Jamaica, and I got a a, a text message from Matt Davison at Nebraska, a teammate of mine. Um, and he says, hey, you got FaceTime? And I was like, that was the text message. I'm like, well, he's never – cared if I have FaceTime like I don't have I don't do FaceTime I don't have FaceTime and so I said well he texted me back he's like hey was your does your wife have FaceTime I'm like yeah she's got it so he goes I'm gonna call you so he calls me and I just thought it was really strange that he would be calling and or texting me about FaceTime um and then right when you know I opened up the video it was it was Matt with Coach Frost and with Tom Osborne and those guys were at practice it was a spring practice last year and uh, they, they uh, <laughs> like, well, what are you guys doing? Why, why are you calling me? You know, and that's how they broke me the news. So I was, it was, it ended up being a lot of fun down in Jamaica. What does it mean to be going into the college football I mean, it's surreal. Um, you know, I've kind of forgotten about all the accolades, and you know, you get in the rut of life, and you know, married, a job, kids, the whole thing, and and um, you know, it's almost time for others to have their light. You know. Um, I had mine when I was in college, and it's just crazy to to keep seeing some of the things that come in. Um, very, very honored. Um, happy for the university. Happy for my teammates. Um, I, I'll be the first to tell you. You know, I didn't do anything special. It was all my teammates and my coaches, and all the help I had with family and friends along the way, and all the support. I mean, it's tough. I mean, it's not easy to uh, you know to play this game, uh, to stay healthy, um, and to do the things that I was able to accomplish. It was all team related well and you've had the individual accolades before in the Heisman Trophy so yeah. how does that compare to something like this because you're a drastically different age well not drastically yeah, yeah. You're a oh, I'm drastically <laughs> you're a different age than you were at yeah that time. how's the perspective um different? I think a little bit different um you know it's uh to me it's one of these things where you represent uh, something different and your state where you're from um, you know there's others obviously that are on this list it's bigger than I mean there's it's still a really small number one thing that kind of struck me uh, when I opened up when I got back from Jamaica I opened up the letter and, and I and I read it and it was still like a fraction of a percentage of the people that play this game that get honored like this and and it had some small number, like a thousand people or something. I, I can't remember how many people are in this. I'm still learning about this. It's so new, but that's that's something that hit me too. I mean, I know the Heisman has a, a, a very select few number, uh, but this is something different. It's fun to be in a group where other Nebraska players are in, um, other college football players are in that that you know and played against and that you watched. I mean, when Eric Dickerson got on, he's like one of the first guys that I congratulated. He was in the class of 2020 as well. I really like Eric Dickerson, admired the way he played the game, loved his running style and his toughness. And, you know, watching pro football when I was a kid, um, he was one of the guys that stood out to me. So it was just fun to be, you know, around that, around guys that you idolized as a kid. If you look at the things that you've done and accomplished in your career, you almost make it look easy, but there was adversity to getting there. And oh, how yeah. did you compete for that role? Does that sort of increase the, the value of something like this for you because of how hard you had to work? Well, to yeah, there's a lot of hard work. Um, you know, you sacrifice a lot of time and your body. And, you know, you start getting to, you know, the age I'm at and you start going, you know, those – those aches and pains, uh, you know, but then you stand up and you get a chance to, you know, be inducted into something special like this, and it was worth every, you know, step of the way. So I wouldn't change anything about it. Talk about who impacted you coach-wise, you know, Solich, you know, just like yeah. who, were you, who was your biggest influence? Yeah. I mean, I had a lot of great influences. I was very, very lucky to have great youth football coaches that kept me excited about football. Um, you know, George Conley was one of those. My high school coach, Fred Petito. And then, um, you know, getting into uh, college, uh, definitely uh, Turner Gill, Frank Solich, Tom Osborne, who believed in me, really as a quarterback. Um, you know, I had Notre Dame and I had Ohio State looking at me, but they wanted me as kind of like that athlete. They didn't know where they would put me. But Nebraska was always, we wanted you as a quarterback. And that kind of sealed the deal for me. And it was really hard to say no to Nebraska in the 90s. Yeah. Really hard. Yeah. Can I ask one question? Yeah. How special is the University of Nebraska? Yeah, great question. I mean, um, 
I was actually the firstborn generation in Nebraska, but my, my mom's side of the family came in uh, for off at Air Force Base, so they they got stationed there and were from all over the country. My dad was from California. My mom born in Tennessee, but brought to Nebraska. Um, it's a special place. They all stayed. You know, they loved it. Uh, they loved the football. They loved the people. They loved the state. Uh, they loved their jobs, and uh, it became home. And so that's what Nebraska is for me, and, and I'm so glad that I stayed and played at Nebraska. I met a lot of wonderful people, um, trainers, teammates, coaches that are still friends of mine today that, uh, that I dearly love and, and love being around. Thank you.